Welcome to Desert Owl Crafting. I'm Christy. How is everyone? I hope you're having a great day and a great week. I took a little bit of time off because I had some spring cleaning I just had to do. Um, I just wasn't comfortable working on my crafts and making my videos when in the back of my mind I knew I had to clean out some things and reorganize some stuff um, and it was a really really good feeling to get rid of things that I hadn't used in a really long time that was just taking up space so sorry I didn't post all but one video last week but I, I've kind of been wanting to get this these things done I still have been cross stitching in the evening um, working on some stuff I did finish the dandelion um, cross stitch subscription monthly subscription from last month and they sent me a new one so I will be posting that video today to show you what's in their new kit for the month of April and to show you the completion from the kit from last month they turned out beautifully I really 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 like this company I like her patterns and I'll tell you more about that in the video today what I have is DIY digital art they sent me a couple cross stitch kits for review and I gotta say they are beautiful and I really really love them but before we get started a ma massive hello to all my subscribers and a new my new subscribers thank you so much for taking the time to watch my channel I really 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 appreciate it and if you like this video please hit that like button it really helps out with YouTube uh, quite a bit so if you've never shopped at DIY digital, digital art I suggest you check them out they're budget friendly they have just a slew I can't even think of another word to use a slew of different kinds of crafting items um, whether it be diamond painting or cross stitch they also have resin supplies quilling paint by number diamond painting crafts wax stamps die cut jigsaw tote bags the list goes on and on and their variety is extensive they have a special right now uh, spend one dollar get 20 percent off and then as you put more in your cart you can get up to, you can get 25 to 30 percent off depending on the quantity that you buy and there's free shipping over fifty dollars okay got that out of the way let's take a look at these kits okay. I think these tulips are just stunning very pastel -y. looks kind of like oh well very much like a watercolor I just think they're so beautiful let's open it up this is a generic kit doesn't have any kind of manufacturer name on it now at first I wasn't real crazy about these kits when I started checking them out last year but they have greatly greatly improved here is the picture and I will post copy of the picture over in the corner so you can see it a little bit clearer but it's all different shades of pinks <clears throat> yellows greens it's very watercolor and it's just so pretty now this is an 11 count it's a 40 by 50 and you've got 148 stitches wide by 191 stitches tall here are your instructions which look like they're the same instructions you'll find on the back of a joy Sunday kit so they have everything here all the information you need to do this kit I automatically love the size of this pattern this is a really good size pattern it's printed very clearly if my camera would go very clearly that would help too yeah. and let me see if I can work on the focus a little bit I got this new camera. I'm not really thrilled with it because it's not showing it super clear. But the symbols are very clear. These big areas here are, of course, where you'll do a lot of color blocking. It's got a picture up in the corner, and then it has your legend, which tells you. Can you see that? Hold on just a second. I am not happy with this. Let's 
see if that helps. No, not much. Let's see. There we go. So you can see the symbols so much clearer. You've got the number of your floss, the symbols that correspond with it on the pattern, the DMC codes, and the color chart. These symbols will match the symbol on your canvas here. Sometimes they, with other companies, they don't, but they definitely do with this one. I'm sorry about working on that focus, but sometimes it's just, if I'm not in the middle of making a video so I can actually work on it, I can't seem to get it right. All right, now the pattern, like I said, is huge. There's no QR code on this one. But let's take a look at the canvas itself. Now I call, I don't know, I guess I call it a canvas because I'm so used to diamond painting. Now this picture was $9. The symbols are really big on here. Very, very easy to read. And the symbols are staying in their squares. I've actually thrown cross stitch kits away because there was bleed over into another square and it just was terrible and it made it too confusing. This is a nice size picture and it's full of so much color that I think it's going to be really pretty. Let's see what else. I'll try to get that up a little more so you can see it. Let's do a measurement on it. Okay, so it is a little over 13 and a quarter, and I'm going to turn it sideways. 13 and a quarter inches wide. By 17 and three inch, 17 and three quarter inches long. You've got your gridding, just like you do on your paper pattern. So in case you you need to check out a symbol that you're not too sure what it could possibly be, use the grid, and then use the grid on your pattern to find the exact spot if you need to. Whenever there's numbers here like this. That means that that whole area, that whole color is going to be number 48, or this area is going to be number 28. So there's a lot of color blocking in this, which I like. I'm working on that, um, that big lion picture I showed you a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's taking forever because there's so much confetti. Where something like this would go a lot quicker because there's not as much confetti. I mean, yes, there's some, but not a whole lot. Not like that lion. Whew. So we've got 48 colors in this. That is remarkable because you don't usually get maybe more than 30 um, when you get a kit. The edges are all searched. And then you've got, so you've got your floss numbers, over here with your legend, same legend that you're going to find on your paper pattern. Being that it has 48 colors, I think that it's just going to really, really add to the detail. The more colors, the better, like in diamond painting. Now let's look at, now this is stiff, but as you work with it, it will, it will soften up. I mean, when you first get it, you can roll it up, bend it up. You're not going to hurt it any. And it will make it nice and soft. Oh, well, not. It's just starch in here, so it will make it a lot softer. I wouldn't use a hoop with this. I would just uh, hold it in my hand. I mean, you can, I suppose, but you'd really have to get it soft. I think putting it in a hoop when it's this stiff would be um, not fun. So we've got a nice little toolkit with a great little bag. I save these because they're just they're good quality and they're not thin and flimsy. And they've given us five needles, excuse me, five needles in a little poofy ball, a threader, and then an adjustable thimble. I usually tear up this finger pretty bad, so I would put that on here, squeeze it to make it smaller. The only thing missing is something to cut your thread with. So whether it be scissors or something like this, I try to put something in all my kits I'm working on so that when I go to work on them, I'm not hunting around for the scissors all over the place. Let's look at the pretty things. Oh, 
Oh, this says spring. This just screams spring at me. So pretty, these colors. Oh, look at all those colors. So many peachy colors and pinks. I love the greens on this. Let's see if I can get these. Nice soft floss. I have noticed, because the, the lion picture I'm working on right now is this generic company too, these, the floss that comes with these kits is very easy to separate because this is an 11 count. You'll use three strands of floss and this is a six strand floss. So it's really easy with this floss for me to, um, at the end of it, separate two groups of three and then just pull them apart gently. I don't get, I haven't gotten any tangles. I haven't gotten any knots. It's been really, really nice. No fraying with this at all. Now look at these colors. They're just so pretty. Oh, I love those yellows. Beautiful pinks. And then on the other side, Oh my goodness, look at all those pretty, pretty pinks. So many different shades of green. And then we've got one more card with the white, which is the background, and another yellow. My goodness, there's probably, I'd say, six or seven different shades of pink in this. These colors are just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And just scream spring. So, so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Have any of you done this kit before? Have you seen this kit? I'm curious how it's going to turn out. I'm very hopeful. Oh, sorry. I'm very, very hopeful that it is going to turn out nicely because. It's a good size, and it has um, so many different colors to it that I think that will really, really help it out a whole lot in turning out well. Okay, now this kit is fun to me. This is called Twins, and I don't know what it is, but I'm really liking these Art Deco uh, retro kits pictures and this is also a generic kit this kit was nine dollars and fifty cents I can figure out how to get it open sorry about the noise okay. now I'll post a picture of this down in the corner so you can see it because it's not real super clear. But this is beautiful. It's just, I mean, I don't do people. You all, you all should know, I don't really, I'm not really into doing um, diamond painting or cross-stitch kits of people. But I just really love this Art Deco kind of style. Same kind of instructions on here. Now, just make sure that when you do work on your stamped kits, your hands are not wet because it will blur the ink and then you'll be relying on this pattern exclusively to do your kit. When all is said and done, rinsing the ink out of these um, kits are very, very easy to do. And that's included, that instruction is included in these directions here. Let's take a look at this pattern. Oh my goodness sakes, this is a really big time. Let's see if I can get it any higher. This is a really big pattern, which is wonderful. Now there's confetti, of course, there has to be with a picture like this, but there's a lot of really nice areas of color blocking too. nice clear symbols on this perfect size for a pattern really really nice and big now it's not 
Well, is it as big as the picture? It looks like it's as wide as the picture is. Let's see. Actually, I have to tell you, yay! This pattern is the same size as the picture is. It's the same size as the picture, top to bottom. That is wonderful, wonderful. I know I would get some kits and the picture, or the patterns were like, not very big at all. But this is wonderful that it's so big. Now it has 34 colors and I will show you that the legends do match as far as all the symbols go. You've got the number of your floss that you'll find on your organizer, the symbol that corresponds with the color on the pattern, your DMC code in case <clears throat> you run out or something. You can contact the supplier, DIY Digital Art, tell them what number you ran out, give them all this information, and along with the product number of the kit, and they should be sending you whatever you need to finish it. And then it has a nice color chart. Up here it's got the product number, and that same product number is also over here on the kit. It tells you that it's a 148 stitches wide by 182 stitches tall. Sometimes I get some questions from people asking me, what's the difference between an 11 count or a 14 count? What does that number mean? It just means that it's 11 stitches per inch. So these squares are a lot bigger, <coughs> excuse me, than something that's say 14 or 18 count. So we've got the picture up there in the corner. That really, really nice, clear, staying in your square symbols. Quite a bit of confetti here. Quite a bit, but I think because the picture is so incredibly detailed, that's what you need. We've got the wonderful surging on the edges so it doesn't fall apart while you work on it. And let's look at the floss for this kit. Now we do have another tool kit with the same thing inside. The puffy ball with five needles, the threader, and the thimble. And this is going to make a little noise now. Oh my goodness, look at the hang of the peach. This is a very light, oh, maybe medium peach color. So, so pretty. There are 40 strands in this hank, and this is DMC code 754. So let's see, what number is that on here? That is the yellow. There's 754. It shows you the symbol on the pattern is yellow and it's number 12. So anywhere you see yellow on here is where that peach is going to go. They sure give you an awful lot of peach for, I mean, yeah, it'll use a bit, but wow, 40 strands for that. And then we have our colors. Now because they gave you a hank of this, when you look on the floss card. It only has one strand in here. Like all the others have a whole bunch. It only has one and that's just because they put all the rest of them in here. These colors are very, very pretty. There is a lot of tans, olives. When you look at the picture, there's some beautiful greens over here, these are very kind of muted, muted colors, but once you flip it over to this side, you get a lot more of the jewel tone colors. Just some beautiful greens. What color is that? 30. That's 3847. I love that green color. That is just 
beautiful. We've got browns, there's more greens, more greens. I'd say there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six different greens in this. And I've got some blues. Nice soft floss. I think this is really, really, really pretty. What a nice kit. Have you noticed when you're shopping around in these stores that this art deco picture stuff is, um, it come, that they're starting to put them out more? I would be really curious to see how this would look in maybe a a smaller count, like a 14 count. I wish it would have been in a 14 count. I don't know about 18, but a 14 count. But because I'm starting to like 14 counts a little bit more than I like 11 counts. 11 counts seem to go a lot quicker for some reason for me um, than a 14 count does. But I just think when the stitches are smaller that the picture, well, the picture's smaller too, but yeah, I just think it looks a little bit better. I was also working on my Four Seasons, um, one that I showed a few months back, and while it's really, really pretty, it's an 11 count, and I'm, this is, this picture is massive, huge, and I just, if I ever see it in a 14 count, I mean, I don't want to give up on it because I've done so much work on it. I just think that it would be it would be so much prettier if it was in a 14 count. So this, oh, let me put these back in here. These are two very, very pretty kits from DIY Digital Art, and I would like to thank them for sending them to me for review. Please, please check them out. <clears throat> like I said, they are budget friendly, and for $9.50 and everything that you get with it, I tell you what, that is, I think, a really, really, really good deal. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you so very much for watching. Take care and have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.